हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सी सी गुरु को लाइव लेक्चर्स डियर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज़ अ स्पेशल सेशन ऑन करियर काउंसलिंग कॉल्ड प्रतिभा संवर्धन एंड टुडे वी वुड बी टॉकिंग ऑन अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेरी क्रूशल टॉपिक्स रिलेटेड टू योर करियर्स वी ऑलवेज ट्राई टू गिव यू डिफरेंट ऑप्शन एंड वी गिव यू दिस प्रिवलेज टू नो डिफरेंट ऑप्शन एंड देन अकॉर्डिंग टू योर एरिया ऑफ इंटरेस्ट यू आर एबल टू सेलेक्ट दोज एरियाज एज वी बिलीव बट टुडे पर्टेनिंग टू टूडेज session uh, as we have already told you that we are, are going to talk on your careers and the issues related to the careers such as uh, how relationships affects careers now you might be wondering what am i going to talk on it friends for this discussion we have with us in our studios ms kirti dikshit she is a counseling psychologist and uh, because she is a psychologist herself she has done her masters in psychology and uh, she is pursuing her phd she is a right person to talk on this particular topic how relationships can be a curse or a boon to someone who is trying to find out the best or the better way for himself or herself so let's welcome our guest ms kirti dikshit and let's try to understand how the people around us affects us how their behaviors the way they treat us they either help us out in getting the better area or sometimes they become the hindrance to our uh, careers so kindly explain this uh, entire uh, topic in detail so that our students are benefited through you definitely first of all thank you for the warm welcome ms kitika uh, today so i would like to start by talking about what are the kind of factors that are included when you talk about uh, these careers and how these relationships are affecting right so majorly when you think of relationships during the early age of when you are trying to set up your careers it can be bifurcated let's say to three different aspects one relationship with your parents second with your siblings third with your friends and fourth a very common concept that comes up during the teenage years is development of some romantic attraction towards the opposite sex right so uh, typically when you look at adolescence uh, you know it's usually said by our parents very common that you know when hamare uh, joote ka chappal ka size same ho jata hai to hame parent child ki jagah ek dost ban ke rehna padta hai so the idea of becoming an adolescent is to understand that hey my relationship with of course change with my parents in terms of understanding hey, that previously it was just uh, me trying to understand uh, is it protection or is it more of uh, working with them in a way that they are trying to protect me now it will be more of equality and trying to understand what are the new changes that are happening in me uh, during my life changes so there are a lot of physical changes as well that are coming up as teenagers right so for example some physical changes some hormonal changes are coming up you know kids these days are taking up social media so strong uh, when they become teenagers they would want to go out with their friends or try a lot of new activities maybe mujhe is cafe jana hai mujhe yahan ye khana hai and what not <laughs> right then there are people uh, students unfortunately who get into uh, very unhelpful stuff so for example uh, there are very uh, high examples of people who get into drugs who get into alcohol so we'll try to understand how to deal with situations like that as well another very important thing that happens during these teenage years uh, because of these relationships is my bachcha is not able to study at their maximum capacity you'll see a lot a lot of parents saying mere bachche ka capacity is 100% but they are achieving not even 50% of that why is that coming up why are the parents feeling that the kids are not able to study at their maximum capacity is because the attention is diverted the focus is not there why the focus is not there is because the child is learning a lot of new things you should understand that as a parent uh, it's not just you who's having a first time experience especially for their eldest uh, eldest uh, kid but for everybody uh, out there you should understand that hey my bachcha is going through physical changes they are trying to understand their world they are trying to shape up their personality they are trying to figure out uh, what is the kind of existence they would want to have and they are also trying to understand a view of the world except and regardless of what kind of interactions you have had so far now when you uh, look at parents uh, and their interactions majority of them feel that there is uh, you know a tight a tight thread between both of them ki my bachcha is not listening to me uh, whereas the child is feeling that hey 
my parents are just not able to understand what am I feeling. Now, why is this happening is because of the change of priorities. For the parent, bachega priority should only be studies. However, for the child, there is a difference. Why? Because for him, he is also not just going through abhi mujhe padhai karna hai, but also to understand abhi mera ye dost mere se baat nahi kar raha hai, meri is dost ne mere picture par comment nahi kiya, mujhe is cafe khane jana hai and the list is endless. And with Instagram coming up, uh, kids are these days scrolling. So there is this concept called doom scrolling that is very evident these days. And honestly, to talk about it, it's not just teenagers who is experiencing that, but also adults. I would see my mama scrolling YouTube shorts uh, about Mata Rani these days since Navratris are coming up. Uh, she is uh, looking through so much content that sometimes I see she is also hampering her own sleep. It might be for 30 minutes, it might be more for teenagers, but the experience is common across. So how do we deal with that are also one of the things that we will be talking about. Right? Then there are friendships. Uh, during my teenage years, I had a few friends. Honestly, I have been somebody who would have a very small group. But then even then my mom would be like, Bacha, apne friend se itni itni der baat nahi karna hai. Back then, you know, we, we had these postpaid things up to you. We have unlimited talk times and all of that. So earlier, I would uh, get a huge bill and all the call logs were related to me and my one of my friends and you know we would just talk about rubbish things. But the entire time is getting exhausted because of that. Especially for the folks who are in class 10th and class 12th. It is a very crucial time for you to understand that, hey, my time is very crucial. Abhi kya hota hai? Kids are going to school, kids are going to tuition centers. Some of them are additionally also going to coaching centers. I was astonished to interact one of the student and parent group that I had uh, last week only, where the parent said, uh, Ma'am, my child goes to school for a sports academy. Then he goes to school, then he goes to the tuition centers. He comes back at 8 p.m. I asked him, what is the kid doing over weekends? He said, this, uh, my child is having coaching classes for CLAT. So you see a kid who is in class 10 is occupied as much as a corporate person would be occupied. And I was shocked to understand that this child does not even have time to self-study. Leave aside having time for himself or herself or you know, taking some rest, having me time, trying to interact with his family and whatnot. So those are the kind of things as parents as, and as child we need to understand and prioritize that hey, this is one thing that I need to work upon. Now, uh, regarding friendships, why friendship is very important is because it is the uh, age for you to understand that hey, this is the specific category of people I want to intermingle with. Um, a lot of times you will also hear your parents saying, Jesse Sangat, Vesi Rangat. Correct? Why uh, our parents and our elders have been saying that is because you are actually the personality of what people you have around uh, on an average of five. So you just look at five people around you and your personality will be average of those people's personality. Correct? Um, so the idea is that you one, you should have the kind of people who you feel inspired with. Second, their um, vision towards their life, towards careers, towards education, towards family should be very similar to what you actually want to have. A lot of times I also see kids uh, having a lot of friends which they are not able to manage, again a problem statement. Sometimes they have no friends at all which is also a problem. And uh, there is one specific uh, situation of these teenagers where you know they are occupied with a huge group where there is a lot of complication, this person doesn't like this person, this person is not talking to that person and a lot of chaos that ways. So instead of focusing your time and energy into friendships which are as complicated as these groups, you should focus on one year studies to having some time for yourself. Third, don't negate any of your relationships. So just like I mentioned, having your parental relationships is important. Always understand that it's never your parents versus you. It's also, it's always your parents are with you, correct? Even if they are trying to explain that, hey, you know, you should spend less time with your friends or less time on this activity or whatever for that matter. It's always a good idea for you to communicate and interact with them that mama, papa, this is the way I want to work. Maybe they will contradict with one or two things. You can just have a healthy interaction. It might happen on the same day. It might happen on between three to seven days for people who have already been facing issues. But it will definitely get resolved once you communicate better. Right? 
Then I also seen some students uh, having unwanted behavior. So for example, one of my parents uh, just called me up and said, uh, ma'am, my I just got a call from this school that my kid has started bunking. Now, what do you do in these situations? The idea is peer pressure. A lot of times peer pressure can of course be positive and negative. You will see a lot of, a lot of uh, groups on Facebook, Instagram and what not who are actually studying together and working that way. Uh, you will see a lot of students who are working on community engagement. There is this NGO called to meet. It is completely filled of uh, college going and school going students who are working on community engagement. Uh, educating underprivileged children, working with them over events. A lot of things are happening around. So what kind of peer pressure you are taking up is also very important. How do you handle peer pressure is also one of the things that you should understand. So one thing is you take a time out. Whenever you are in a situation where you are not able to understand that hey, what is my idea of uh, using this XYZ thing or whether I should try this new XYZ thing or not. Just take 15 minutes ka time out, go out of that space, think about yourself. Listen to your gut feeling. What is my inner mind saying? Or maybe uh, you remember that Shah Rukh Khan's dialogue. If you are in a difficult situation, think about what mama papa would have told you. <laughs> right? Then there is this thing called firm boundaries. Now, just like uh, with anybody else for that matter, you should also have some firm boundaries with your friends, with your peers to understand that, hey, this is the space that I am in. You or anybody else for that matter is not allowed to cross that. Correct? Another thing is ask yourself why, why is trying this new thing important, why should I go ahead with this or maybe offer an alternative. Maybe you want to go out with your friends and mama papa is saying no. So instead of just thinking hey I am in such a pathetic situation, I just don't like my mom, dad, they are just not able to understand what is going on, offer an alternative. Just maybe ask mama papa okay if I can't go this weekend maybe can I go after my examinations, is that a good way. I am pretty sure that your parents are not going to say no unless you are performing terrible and you are still not studying. <laughs> right? So these are the kind of things you focus on and work in terms of handling your peer pressure. So uh, we have typically covered two relationships. One is parental relationships, second is your friendships. Now third very important aspect that comes up is basically understanding of uh, romantic or attractive feelings that develop. Uh, now. How do these romantic feelings develop is a very common concept in teenagers. It is not something that is unusual or something that you can't discuss with anybody. You should always have one trusted authority figure, anybody, your teacher, your parents, any of your trusted relatives that should be comfortable or a safe space for you to express, right. Second is communication. Openly express your feelings with the trusted past partner. Having a healthy support group my friends is the key. If you have a trusted support system, it will definitely going to help you in any and every manner, correct? You can have even your tuition teachers for that matter. I see a lot of kids are so, so comfortable with their tuition teachers. They are telling every minute thing to their teachers. So one authority figure is very important for you to have, right? Now these uh, romantic feelings are also one way for you to understand that hey is this uh, just infatuation or am I actually attracted to this person because a lot of times what happens is it is because of the proximity that you guys are having. Maybe I am going in the same school, same tuition classes, going and coming back on the same time with the same person which is why I am feeling more infatuated towards this person. So it is important for you to sit analyze what kind of feelings am I having, where does it lead me, is it the right time to act on it, how do I act on it and of course discuss it with your authority figure who of course you trust and then move ahead respectfully and in a way that is more socially appropriate according to your cultural and moral values. Right? Different set of families will let us say have different uh, values in terms of expressing your own emotions, how do you deal with different situations. So take care of what is an appropriate moral value for yourself according to uh, what value systems your family has given you and act accordingly. Right? The next uh, set of thing that uh, is one of the things that teenagers are facing is social media. Just like I discussed what do I post on Instagram every other day. <laughs> I see a lot of kids maintaining so many snap streaks. They are actually having competition in terms of my snap streak is 1000 strong. The other one is telling me it is 3000 strong. 
Now the idea is, of course, if you are having enough time to work on these tricks, it's a great idea. If you are taking it as something which is helping you to keep your distractions, good. If it is taking you away from your studies, take a pause and understand why am I doing it, right? Is it just a race that I am following? Is it some peer pressure that is uh, making me conform to this following snap streak thing? Sometimes I also see these kids thinking ki, ma'am, raat ho gayi hai, abhi tak kuch na mila nahi, jo mein post karu apne snap streak par, mein aisa kya bhejou? So instead of utilizing your time trying to understand ab mein aisa kya aesthetically pleasing nikal ke bhejou, you should ideally think what is the content for my studies that I want to study, correct? Another uh, range of social media content could be Instagram posting, my picture par isne like nahi kiya, usne comment nahi kiya. Another very important question that came up in my recent workshop was emojis. Ma'am, should we use emojis or not? Uh, emojis to bade subjective cheeze hain, ho sakta hai, mera interpretation aur uska interpretation alag ho. So guys, social media should be one way of you utilizing your free time. That's the whole idea of social media. Instead of understanding ki, haan chalo ab khali baithe hain, isko use karte rahe, karte rahe, apna time waste karte rahe, focus on understanding ki, 3 ghanta mere paas free time hai, is mein se 2 ghanta I'll study, 30 minutes I'll probably use my phone, and 30 minutes I'll just take out maybe for reading a book or doing some interesting activities. Now, coming down to what are the problems kids have while studying. So, apart from, you know, the factors that we have already discussed that actually correlate to issues while studying, we will actually try to understand, padne bet the time, aisa kya problem hume feel hota hai. One thing is lack of focus. I see a lot, a lot of kids telling me that, ma'am, I'm just not able to sit for longer sittings. Ek ghante se zada mein bet nahi pata hoon. Ya, mein jab betti hoon padne ke liye, to my thoughts just keep wandering around and I tend to use my phone again. Right, and I am not able to be present at the moment. So these are four common very uh, basic problems that these kids are facing. Today we will try to understand how can we actually deal with that. First is how do you improve your focus? The first thing is you should actually have a designated space. You know earlier in our childhood mom dad would just bring up a table and a chair, keep it in a room, a luxe and give you that space ke haan bache yahan jaake padho. That is actually one of the best ways that you can cue your brain to understand that, hey, this space is specifically for me to study. Second is remove distractions. Your biggest distraction is your phone. Just ensure that you are putting your phone on airplane mode, keeping it in another room, not, not even in the same room. Why this is important is because if uh, you are keeping it in the same room, your urge of getting up, taking it on your table, using it increases tenfolds. So just keep it in another room. There are also focus applications that you can download in your laptop. So for example, Momentum. Momentum is basically a free Chrome extension that you can download. It starts uh, in a way that um, it gives you a quote, it asks you what is your biggest goal for the day, it also gives you an option of uh, defining a to-do list. It also gives you an option of starting with a focus mode. Now what is a focus mode? Uh, focus mode also helps you start out with some music. So, a good idea for people who are auditory learners, basically people who like to listen to more of music, who learn through podcasts, are the people who are auditory learners. Now, for these people starting on music for, let's say, a specific duration when they want to study is a great idea. So, you can feel free to download Momentum. You can just search Momentum free Chrome extension and get that. The next idea is the content for your studies should always be prepared in advance. Today I want to study three subjects and these three chapters of these three subjects is something I want you to prepare and then sit on your study desk to start studying. Otherwise what happens is, aadha ghanta sirf ye sochne mein ja raha hai ki ab mujhe ye wala chapter padna hai ki wo wala chapter padna hai ki kya karna hai. Right? These are basically the four steps that you can use and improve your focus. Now, how do you improve your sitting capacity? There is a thing called Pomodoro technique. Pomodoro technique is a very famous technique that inducts you to study for 25 minutes. Now, when you say 25 minutes, you start on with the timer, maybe start on with the music as well. Once the timer is over for 25 minutes, take a break of 5 minutes, just 5 minutes, again with the timer. Now, once you have 
taken the 5 minutes break, again go on to that 25 minutes wala slot. Once you are done with 5 slots of 25 minutes, now you can take 15 to 20 minutes of break. At least have 2 to 3 rounds of these Pomodoro techniques in your day to ensure that you are able to self study in the best manner possible. So, the idea is uh, probably jis din aapka chutti hai, us din aap ye Pomodoro technique initially ek baar, then two times and then three times at least as I follow karo so that you are able to increase your sitting capacity. Now, sitting for 25 minutes is not a challenge. The challenge will come up when you are sitting on this 25 minutes wala slot on the third setting which is when music comes up. So, third slot may it's probably more necessary for you to you know put up some music or maybe put up some candle or something that keeps you intact on the table with the book. Uh, we have different techniques so for example, read karte ve, uh, put your finger on uh, apart from this maybe make some better notes, start writing what you are learning, start solving different kind of questions and a lot of different other techniques. Another thing that I feel uh, students have is mental hurdles. What are mental hurdles? For example, I think padhai mein sham mein hi kar pata hun. Ya fir, ye wala subject, is subject ke baad hi padhne mein zyada asani hogi. A lot of uh, people develop these kind of rules internally within their brain to understand ki haan abhi ye aise nahi kar sakte and we end up not doing anything at all. So, there is this technique called 5 seconds rule which talks about just uh, count till 5 and start reading or learning or whatever you want to do on the count of 1 to 5. So, apart from this Pomodoro technique, we can also use this 5 seconds wala rule to improve your focus and start working and reduce the procrastination levels that students have these days. Now, Time management is also one of the things that is a concern these days. Now, when you look at time management, standard definitions, mama, papa will tell you, 7 baje utho, 8 baje nashta karo, 9 baje padne baith jao, 9 baje se 2 baje tak baitho, 2 baje lunch and da 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 da, whatever the plan is, which is actually not working for kids these days, a lot of times. Why? Because in a traditional school setting, it's easier for you to understand that, hey, I am in a specific setting, I have to follow these rules only. When you're sitting at home trying to understand, be more flexible, try to understand that, hey, uh, I can follow some specific rules, but a uh, specific set timeline is very difficult for us to follow these days. Maybe you should uh, come up with six goals to work upon, maybe three subjects that you feel you want to work upon, eco activity that you want to do uh, to evolve yourself, maybe I want to do a sports activity or something of that sort, right. Another two things could be maybe I want to tidy, tidy up my room ya fir mujhe bahar ja ke ek walk karna hai, apne friend se milna hai, anything of that matter, right. Um, another very important question is, is it important for me to study in the morning only, jabki mere ko raat mein padna achha lagta hai. Right? So, now kids these days they will say ki ma'am mojhe to na raat ko gyaara baje hi achha lagta hai ki mein pad paun. So, it is completely flexible in terms of studying in the morning or night unless you are actually studying with your maximum focus. Uh, yes, there is lot more to learn from you and we would be learning the techniques as uh, explained by you and um, these techniques are basically very very helpful for the students who are watching us right now or would be watching us through YouTube and we are going to carry forward the session but till then I would like to tell our dear friends keep watching us, keep uh, writing us as uh, we are going to talk on this topic more. Thank you for watching us.